So tell me a little bit about this bike. You said it's got a gas gas motor. Right. So this is actually um, this is a pre-production, but this is this is set up just like our production 300 Christini, which is actually MSO'd in the U.S. So it's being built in the U.S. Assembled here. Um, the frame is based off um, the geometry of a uh, like a, similar to a, a Honda geometry, but it's actually our frame. Um, we're using Paoli suspension, the Gas Gas 300 engine, and we're using the same um, FMF exhaust, hydraulic clutch that the Gas Gas 300 uses. So basically, what we're doing is we're taking a bunch of like pretty solid platform parts, putting it together into our all-wheel drive production bike. So this is going to be one of our three models, which we also have a 450 and a 450 dual sport bike. And they're all really reasonably priced, priced compared to all the other production bikes out there. So from a tech standpoint, um, a lot of people know about how this works, but I'll give a quick overview. Yeah. You essentially have the dry system that comes off the counter shaft sprocket underneath this chain, which Wally has graciously beat up a little bit this year. <laughs> but uh, there's a gearbox that goes um, behind the chains. Uh, there's a dry shaft, goes up into the head tube. Inside there, there's a torque limiting clutch that keeps the front and rear from overload. And once the dry system gets into the head tube, there's a drive gear on the bottom, one on the top. What they do is they counter rotate and go down into two step over chains, one on the top and one on the bottom. They're uh, basically like a large timing change. They actually drive the system forward and reverse. And I'm gonna try to spin this for you so you can see it. Keep moving here. So you gotta engage it. There is an engagement mechanism so here. So you can, you can actually turn the system on you can and turn off. it on and off. Normally the switch is up on the handlebars, but we okay. have it down underneath so that it doesn't get ripped off. So as that spins, you can actually see the front wheel right. grabbing as and well. And you can see the drive shafts in the front. There's two counter-rotating drive shafts up there. And there's a reason for that other than um, other than just because it's power transfer. It's actually to balance out the reaction force. It'd be similar if you had the drive shaft on one side, it'd be very similar to actually having on an all-wheel drive car, like a flat tire or something, it would really pull it in one way or the other. Interesting. So the drive system goes down and into two um, axle clamps to actually act as gearboxes. So there's actually a gearing system inside the axle clamp. Inside the front hub, you can see that the front hub, it actually freewheels in one direction and drives in the back backwards direction. Wow. So that allows the drive system to actually be a, um, an all-wheel drive system. It's, it runs at 65% ratio. What that does is you actually are rear wheel drive until the rear slips and then it transfers a percentage of the power to the front wheel. So that gives you not only better traction from the rear, but also it'll transfer power to the front wheel.